Ernest in the army? Has Ernest going into the army, and then uh, he has to stop uh, some terrorists or something. So, I'm doing this review for Veterans Day, so happy Veterans Day. So, uh, there we go. So, uh, this gave me a chance to talk about uh, another Ernest movie. So, uh, here we go. The positives on the movie are... I. I do like the total opposite of this idiot, Ernest, being a serious army marine. Uh, it's kind of what I was talking about with Ernest Scared Stupid and what that should have been. They should have made him a police officer and that actually would have been funny. So I kind of like that Ernest in the army is like an army person and like he's just the complete opposite of that. So it kind of works. Uh, the chase in the desert... Uh, was pretty entertaining with Ernest uh, driving and the girl shooting the bad guys. And then I like how Ernest uh, picks up the grenades like golf balls like he did at his uh, first job and flings them in the air. That that was pretty entertaining. So I, I do like that. That's it, that's it for positives. On to the negatives. Uh, the first negative is this, this movie has a really cheap feel to it and i mean like this this was the very last Ernest movie it came out in 1998 uh after a wave of direct to sequel direct to video Ernest sequels this uh also went uh direct to video it only came out to dvd it didn't go to theaters only the first four Ernest movies did which went to theaters which was Ernest goes to camp Ernest saves christmas uh, Ernest Goes to Jail, and then Ernest Scared Stupid. So this is the, uh, last Ernest movie, uh, ever, so, and it kind of just has a low quality feel to it. Uh, another negative is, it's not a funny movie. All the humor is very cheap, kiddish, or gross, um... So I didn't really laugh that much in the movie. Um, another negative is this movie is really boring. Uh, it, it really doesn't have any huge laughs in the film. Like, I, I did not laugh out loud uh, during this film. Unlike Ernest Scared Stupid or Ernest Goes to Camp. This just isn't really that funny. And the last negative is, I don't think the villain is really that memorable. I don't even remember what his name was. It's just like a terrorist guy in this movie wanting to uh, blow up the blow up the army or whatever. I don't know. Like, like the villain is not memorable at all. Like, for Ernest Scared Stupid, I remember... Trantor the Troll, probably because that's the most fictional uh, villain of the franchise, so it just kind of stands out. But, like, I, I even remember Sherman Crater from Ernest Goes to Camp, or uh, Mr. Nash from Ernest Goes to Jail. And here, I don't really remember the villain that much in Ernest in the Army. So, <coughs> um, so in the end, uh, this... This movie is fine. It's it's not one of the worst Ernest movies. Uh, so Ernest ends on kind of a good note. Like it's it's better than Ernest plays basketball or Ernest goes to school. Like it's better than those. Um, but it's not really an Ernest movie that I'll really pick up and rewatch. But it, it's. It's an okay, fine, decent, last Ernest film. So that's my review on Ernest in the Army. Thanks for watching.